being a Fort Worth police officer is something I'm very proud of. Uh, for me, it's kind of like an ongoing tradition. I have uh, several other family members that are Fort Worth police officers, which include my father, uh, several uncles, a uh, younger cousin, and my younger brother. Uh, so it's something I'm very proud of. I love the city of Fort Worth, and um, I, I feel like uh, we've gotten a lot in return uh, for our services. We're going to go do some surveillance on this uh, house. This house has been really busy. I've uh, been dealing a lot of narcotics from it. They're mainly selling uh, heroin, cocaine. Uh, we've done, me and my partner Jason have done a lot of surveillance. We see uh, people drive up in the driveway. Passenger, the driver, will get out of the car, go up to the side of the house, the door, put money in there, and in exchange, they'll get their narcotics. So it's going to be right up here is what we're going to do. We're going to get out of the car. We're going to get up to the fence line, and we can actually see the buy go down. You got the binoculars? Yeah, I got them. Here we are. Good deal. Let's go. And it'll be real quiet. Okay, here comes the guy. He's coming up to the side window where the porch light is on. He's knocking. You see him? He's knocking right now. Okay. Yeah. He just put his he just put his money in through the door. He has it in his hand now. He has it in his right hand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. It looked like it was a pickup, uh, a white male or a Hispanic made his deal at the back window. This vehicle, we just saw him make a buy at that house we were just talking about. And uh, so basically, bought him some drugs. Now we're going to initiate a traffic stop on him. We're going to have to approach him fast. George 221, copy TV. Gonna be out with Texas plate Henry 1 2, about the 1400 block of East Rosedale. It's gonna be him. You see him making any further movements? There he goes. All right, let's go. Yep. Get out of the car. Get out, Get out of the car. car. Get out of the car. Put your hands up there. What you got in your mouth, man? What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? What's in your mouth? Open your mouth. 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 Open it. Open your mouth. Put your kids in there. Let it out. Spit it out. Give it here. All right. Open your hand. Open your hand. There it is. Drop it. Drop it. I don't want. Drop it. All right. What's in there? I don't know. That guy gave it to me in there. Who guy gave it to you? That guy that hell gave it to me. I did it some. Title and he gave it to me. Oh man, my. So you would just put that in your mouth? Oh, you, you don't even know what you have no I idea. I didn't know what, what it, it was, man. So you what? would put it in your mouth. I didn't know what it was, I swear to you. You have a clue. Roll over. <sighs> I'm gonna get some gloves first before I touch that bloody thing. Put your hands behind your back. I'm telling you the truth. Let me ask you this. Yes, sir. If you don't know what it is that he gave you, why would you put it in your mouth? I don't know. I didn't know what it was. He just gave it to me. Okay, wait a minute. He gave you something. It could have been poison. I didn't know what it was. You just put it in your mouth. I didn't know what it was. Okay. Is that your child with you in the car? Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Is this your daughter or your son? That's my son. Turn around. How you doing? Everything's okay, okay? Hey. Everything's okay. What's your name? Huh? Ryan. Ryan? You What's your son's have, name? You're kind of running out of options. I know you'll cooperate because you don't have many options at this point. Think about your son, okay? Now's the time. You need to be honest with me, okay? Sir, listen, look at me. You got a son in your car. Now it's time to be honest. Seriously, what's in that paper? Can I stand up and talk to you? Yes, you may. Let me help you up. Come on, lean forward that way. All right, turn around. Okay, now think about your son. I'm trying to wire for the cross River Task Force. And mm -hmm. I made a deal with them that I would make a buy for them and let them know where I got the stuff. Okay. That's the truth. I was trying so to you're buy telling this, you're, you're doing this in cooperation with the Narcotics Task Force? Yes, sir. Okay, well, now I'm going to tell you what I do out here, okay? okay. Myself and my partner work in this area. We both work with confidential informants. Okay. And I know for a fact. I'm that telling you the to me. truth. This, okay, I appreciate that, but okay. 
When RCI makes a buy for us, a covered buy, they have to do it with us in their presence. They just can't go outlaw and do it themselves, okay? Now either, listen, either you have a drug problem and you're trying no, to get behind the back, or, but you, either way, you're in the wrong, okay? But okay. I appreciate you being honest. But I'm honest. trying to tell you the truth. It's the truth. Okay, what'd you buy? It's the truth. Okay, bought, what'd you buy? All I did was buy some cocaine. I got to take it to them guys, and they wanted me to go up on the witness stand. I told them I was afraid to go on the witness stand because of my children, okay? Mm -hmm. If I go by myself, then guys got suspicious. So I either take my wife or take my kids. They know. I got busted for it. They already know. Have you ever been arrested before for possession in the past? No, sir. You've never been to prison or jail for possession no, before? No, sir. It's the truth. I'm uh -huh. Look, I'm telling you the truth, okay? It's the truth. All you gotta do is call Park County and find out, man. I don't wanna lose my son. I don't wanna I don't wanna go to prison. I don't wanna go to jail. Stand over here. What did you find? He said he had some cocaine in there. Yeah, um, this was the package that was wrapped up in his mouth. It was tightly wrapped. He had about four capsules of cocaine. Well, here's what's gonna happen, okay, okay. straight up. I'm gonna get someone to come pick up a child. And right now, you're gonna be arrested for possession of controlled substance, cocaine, for those four capsules that you were trying to destroy in your mouth. You're lucky you didn't choke on that because that's a big wad of paper. We probably saved know, your life, I okay? Know, I know. In this job, there's not a lot of females, so there's probably you know, maybe 10%, 15% of us in this job. Since I'm pretty small, I like to talk people out of things. I'm not much on physical. If I can fix a problem, uh, just verbally uh, getting the problem solved, and that's the, that's the way I'll do it. Um, you know, I I know that. It, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go home at night. We were just dispatched to a domestic fight. Um, one half in this domestic evidently has a knife. Rescue's been tripped also, so they might beat us to the trip. We're gonna figure out what's going on. Your domestic males armed to the knife, the females armed with scissors, and oh, rescue the Copy. Uh, male half has a knife. 13, female half has five. scissors in her hand, and uh, okay. that's about all we have at this point. And we're pulling up right about now. Y'all yeah, cars hold your traffic, and we're back with file 122 and 2943 to 1913. Here we are. Where's the mail? Where's the mail? Uh, hey, where's the mail? Where's the mail half? Where's the mail half? There is nobody here. Hey, where's the mail half? Somebody took off running. Who's inside here? My daughter and All right. me. Who else? You just broke my mom's door in? You're under arrest. For what? For arrest. It's me! Calm down. Mom! Calm down. You need Mom, to calm. they're taking me to jail. Come get Cheyenne. Where's the male half at? He's running down the street on okay. university. All right, that's what I asked you in the first Mom, place. Mom, they're taking me to jail. Oh, settle down. Settle down, all right? I'm gonna ask no, you where the mail is. That's really nice. No, no, Come on. No, Are you happy in front of your child? No, when we ask really you, mature. when we ask you where the mail half is, we want to know because I don't want to get stabbed. No, you understand? No, 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 me when no, I'm trying to help you. My mom is on a stroke. No, well, we're trying to help you. No, no, we'll take care of you. Come on, let's go downstairs. Ma'am, ma get back, all right? Up over here. Man, when I tell you, when I ask you where, where the male half is, and the dispatch tells me he's armed with a, a knife, you don't I want to no know, knife. okay? You don't have no knife. Do you think I know you that? You think I'm running. Okay, do I know that? Mom, take your Come on, ma'am, have a seat. And they're taking me. <laughs> Mom, go get Cheyenne. Mom, take your Come Cheyenne. on, ma'am, have a seat. Hold on, wait. Come back out here. I want to pat you down for what? You don't have anything on you. Do you spread your legs for me? Thanks. Get them away from Dispatch my advised that both of them had weapons. And uh, at that point, we came to the door. She slams the door in our face. So uh, that's pretty much she interfered with our investigation. So we that's figured out that he did run off on foot. And we don't know if he's armed at this point. But you said it was okay that he left this. Yeah, I'm yeah. not fighting anymore. But he's that's not right. I'm glad he's gone. I'm glad he's gone.
okay? But I just didn't appreciate you. I, I, we already talked no, about that, right? Help me. Okay. Mom, come help me wipe my nose. What's your name? Sonia. Do you have an ID? Yeah, Mom, can you I go grab it. her ID in the house, please? Proof. Okay. You, you, Sonia, why don't you have a seat and you can leave your legs out? Because I know it's hot, okay? Have you ever been to Polk County Jail before? No. Okay. Help me. Yeah. About. Years ago. For what? I'm oh, okay. That was a long time ago. 87. Okay. Have you always lived here? When I got back from Texas, I just moved back in May of 2000. What were you in Texas for? I lived there six years. I worked for the post office. Oh, you did? What made you come back to Iowa? <laughs> Abusive husband. And that's not. You that's divorced not him? Yeah, we just finally got our divorce. Okay. Final. Okay. <sighs> you, I mean, you got under. I, I already, we already talked about this, okay? You have to understand, I've done this job a while, and I know in domestic situations, when it, when people's it, life are at risk, okay? No, a lot of things happen between husband and wife, boyfriend and, and girlfriend. People get killed. People stab each other in the heat of the moment. And when I come to the door, you know, I don't know if you have a gun to your head and he's telling you to shut the door. I underwear up because he bought them for me and he them, so I was cutting the underwear up. Okay. That's well, why I had the scissors in my hand. Well. I wasn't um, going at it. Then you know what they were? They're this, the scissors are like this long, and I got them when I had stitches in my hand, and yeah. Des Moines General gave me, gave me all my tools that they used on me, and I was using them to cut the underwear. Okay. Well, the thing is, like I said, we already talked about it, but you know, I don't know you from Adam, and I don't know what's inside that house, and I'm not gonna get killed, right. and I don't want you getting killed either. Right. So that's, that's the part we were upset with you about, and that's why you're going to jail today, okay? Yes. All right, I hope you learned your lesson. She wanted him to move out. Okay. And he had the cell phone, and he wasn't giving her the cell phone. And they got each other's hair and pulled it, and he pinned her and tried to throw her down the stairway. Okay. And I stopped, I stepped in between it. And when I saw I couldn't stop it, I ran to the neighbors and called you. Okay. Did you see him with weapons in their hand? Um, Sonia had a pair of scissors cutting up some clothes. Okay. Was but, she using it in no, any threatening manner? No. Okay. Did he have a knife in his hand? I don't know. Okay. I don't think so. He had this in his back of his pants and I... We, the problem with us tonight, we, we came, we want to know where the male half was because if he's armed with a knife, I need to know. And we have to investigate what's going on. Okay. And for not only my safety, but your daughter's safety and your grandchild's safety. Will she be and, you know, Yeah, she's going to be arrested for interference, okay? It's, it's uh, if she, simple, if, okay? If she tells you, will she be arrested? Well, she's... My sergeant and I, we, we made up our mind, okay? You can you can bond her out. It's it's I simple, don't, okay? No All right. Okay. Well, you don't need to worry about this right now, okay? What's done is done. If Danny comes back, you give us a call, okay? Make sure you call 911 as soon as possible, and you don't have to let them in the house if you don't want to. You understand? Yep. Okay. Hey, Sonia. You understand what I'm saying, right? And right. you know why you're going to jail today, okay? So next time a cop tells you to stay put, you're gonna stay put, and not slam the door in the in my face, right? Okay, Sonia? All right. Good luck to you. What motivates me as a police officer? I guess uh, working in an older neighborhood, uh, there's a lot of older folks that have lived here for eons, and they're getting to be older. They're the World War II veterans, the people that have got all of the information, and nobody wants to listen to them anymore. The uh, youngsters growing up now would just assume victimize them and listen to them. And uh, they're really who I like to serve. They're, uh, they're a valuable source of information, and when they pass on, the generation is going to be lost. We had a car that just left a well-known dope house. We observed a buy go down, and we're going to try to stop this vehicle and uh, see if we can't recover the drugs. Channel. George 24 TV. Yeah, with Lincoln 7-1. 1100 New York. How you doing? What's up, bro? It's Nile Port Police. Step out call. Howdy. Just gonna grab the car. What'd you do with what you just bought? I didn't buy anything. Man. Look I went to it. there to get weed and they didn't have it. You got anything in here I need to know about? Oh, man, I swear. Keep your hands on the car, okay? Reach way out. 
Step way back. Spread your legs way wide. Thank you. You got anything on you I need to know no. about? Do you mind if I check? You can check. How much weed were you gonna buy? I was just gonna buy a dime, man. Dime? Yes, sir. Drive all the way over here for a dime? It, it's dry, dude. <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't get nothing. Nobody answered the door. Justin, where are you from? Uh, North Richmond Hills. North Richmond Hills. House? Yeah, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Do they? How much have you bought there? I'm, how much have I bought there? Like, well, obviously, you know they sell it. Bought like dimes there before. Hey, how long have you been buying dimes there? For a while now. What's a while? Two pounds on the car. Probably four or five months. Five. Four to five months. Ma'am, go ahead and step out for me. Let me speak to you up front. Where are y'all coming from? Uh, over there off of D. Did he say what he was doing there? Yeah, we went to go get a sack. A sack? Yeah, we. Okay. <laughs> Uh, have you been there with him before? Mm, yeah, a couple of times, not a lot. Who is he to you? Is he your boyfriend? Mm, your my brother? boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. boyfriend. Okay. Um, do you do any other kind of drugs? No. So, but I'm just assuming he's probably still living underneath your roof. I you know, figured you would probably. Dad, I ain't buying no narcotics. I heard what he told you. I ain't buying no narcotics. I didn't even buy nothing. I had nothing on me. I was over here. I was getting weed, Dad. And they they saw me up there. No, no one was at this. I was I was gonna buy some weed, yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. But I'll. I'll Bye. You can speak whenever you're ready. Huh? Whenever you, whenever. I know, we came out here to get a sack, to get a dime sack, which is 10, you know, like six grams. We came out here to get a sack. Sir, just come over here, please. Maybe, maybe when y'all get just a little bit older, y'all will understand. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. Get into 25, 14, 10, transmit on tech 2. Okay, we'll still send a code 3. 